always watching out for you. This is KOAA News 5 at 4. And thanks for joining us. I'm Andy Cohen. We have breaking news to share with you this afternoon. A large grass fire started on the north side of Colorado Springs. The fire department ordered evacuations at hotels and other businesses in the area near I-25 and Interquest Parkway. This video was shared on social media by News 5 viewer Justin Jenkins as he was driving past it on I-25. The fire department worked with its partner agencies to try and contain this fire. So let's head out live now to News 5's Ryan Martin, who brings us the latest. Ryan? Yeah, Andy, it wasn't just one fire. It was actually three reported fires here along I-25 starting at 1242 this afternoon, each one progressively moving further north. Now, all three of those are under investigation and evacuations from businesses in the area were about an hour and a half to two hours long. The, um, the fire here at Interquest and I-25 burned 38 acres, according to the Colorado Springs Fire Department, and took a little bit more than an hour to contain. Now, the Colorado Springs Fire Department is saying right now this is coincidental, and uh, the dry conditions are a perfect condition for a December fire to start. Uh, at this point, it's just kind of a coincidental, um, but we do have our fire investigators working the problem, and um, we'll know more once they are able to examine everything that's involved. And that examination will continue uh, through the night. Crews will be out all night and uh, stay through into the morning and into tomorrow just to contain any hot spots. Live in Colorado Springs, Ryan Martin, News 5. Great information there. Thank you, Ryan. Well, we've been on weather alert all day today because of those dangerous fire conditions. Let's get the latest right now from Alan Rose in First Alert 5. Alan? Andy, Ryan mentioned how dry it was when that fire broke out. Look at the current relative humidity at the Springs Airport down to 5%. I've seen it as low as 4% throughout the afternoon hours. That is just incredibly bone dry for us, even this time of the year. And that combined with the wind means that we're still under red flag warnings. If you recall last night at nine, I showed you that this warning was only from Fremont and Pueblo counties down southeast. It has since been expanded. It does include Teller and El Paso counties. This remains in effect for about the next hour. Occasional gust highs 35 to 45 miles per hour in humidity, as we know, down into the single digits. This is a zoomed in view of the Pikes Peak region. The censored inquest hasn't really changed that much. It might be down, but you can see the sensors around it consistently gusting around 25 to 35 miles per hour. Also some strong wind down into the downtown area and up across the Ute Pass Pikes Peak right now gusting at 51 miles per hour. Let's show you what's expected through the rest of the afternoon and evening hours. I think the winds will significantly decrease for us as we head past sunset tonight, but still stay pretty gusty across the eastern slopes of the front range. So areas just to the the west of Highway 24 could still see gust around 20 to 30, whereas the rest of us should see significantly weaker wind as we head into the overnight hours and into Monday morning. But Andy, we are not done with the wind yet. More ahead for the early week forecast, and unfortunately, more days with high fire danger are likely. For now, send it back to you.